you haven't guessed yet by the intro, this video is all about this. The EcoFlow Delta Pro. Rose is interested. And it's a decent sized unit. What would it be used for? Well, you've just seen the stats at the bottom of the intro video. So it's got a decent size, decent inverter. But this is one way you can double up um, EcoFlow Delta Pros. Or you can buy a backup battery so it's modular. Which makes it good for the camper van, but also good for backup uh, for off-grid living, businesses, shepherd's huts, down on the farm. If you saw before, I used the EcoFlow Delta 2, I think it was, and I lent it to our local farm in summer, and they used it for clipping, for shearing sheep. So they're quite versatile what you use these for. But this one is capable certainly of charging your electric car, not fully, but putting some power in it. It's modular, so you can build up batteries that can increase the capacity. And it's also a decent size and shape to fit in the camper van. So we've got that little space down there and it fits in there perfectly. And with having those handles on the top, you can put a strap down and strap it on a wheel arch of a camper van because it has an app and the app works from Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. But it fits in there nicely, doesn't it? So if you're building a camper van, you can design it around the shape of something like a power unit. That really helps. Or if the power units are designed in this shape, they fit great on a wheel arch, which can be an area of waste space. Them two are not interested at all, look. But let's have a look at it in more detail and we'll take it back to the cottage and we'll plug it into the off-grid system and see how it performs there. All the main sockets are on the front there. So you've got your standard USB-A, your fast charge USB-A, a USB-C at 100 watts, another USB-C at 100 watts there. On and off button, four three-pin sockets there. In this little flap on the side, you have 12 volts at 30 amps. So this is perfect for a camper van because you can plug a fuse box into that and run all your 12 volts in your camper van off that socket there. So as well as giving you the mains power, it will actually give you enough power to run all your 12 volts. So that'll easily run a 12 volt fridge, a diesel eater, your lights and all your charging units for your phones and cameras and everything else. Traditional 12 volt, 10 amp socket, a couple of small barrel connectors there. And down here, you've got various reset buttons. And I've seen this on a number of EcoFlow units, but I don't know what it is. It says it's for a remote. So I would imagine there's some sort of control unit you can get that plugs into that, that you can use in your van or at home to uh, give you the display of everything that's happening on the unit. Down there is a car charging unit, and you can buy various adapters to fit into that as well. For off-grid power, nice and easy. If you've got a knuckle lead, and I've shown this a few times before, if you've got one of these standard hookup leads in your camper van, you can buy this adapter which just has a standard UK plug on it. That plugs on there, and you plug this into the power unit. And that's just the same as a campsite hookup. And you can have a campsite hookup in this setup anywhere you want. Or you just put it in back of the camper van if you don't want it outside. The unit's small enough as well. To actually put it in back of your car, if you're going away on holiday and taking your e-bikes, you'll be able to charge your e-bikes from it. But you'd also, if you're in a, a hybrid or electric car, you'd get about 10, 12 miles of power out of that if you've run out of power in your electric car. So it's a good backup for e-bikes on holiday. Charge e-bikes all day with that, or for backing up an electric car. Back of the unit, it's got these wheels on. And when you have it at this position, it's on the bed at the moment so you can't tell the feet are lower than the wheels so it won't slide about when it's in this position but when you tilt it and use that handle these come into action there are your expandable battery ports on there so if you want to expand it and you can put a significant amount of batteries into this and you can also link two of these units together as well and then in here is your inputs you're charging fast and slow charge um, your input there for your solar and car charger and then your mains input and of course with this there is no brick charger it's just a, a standard lead that fits into there no charging things on the top for through charging for your phone and i don't bother with them i've had 
as you've seen from my videos, if you watched me before, I've had lots and lots of different power packs and some have through charging on here and some don't. And I never use them because it's much easier to plug a cable in and then you can still use your phone. If your phone needs charge and you're trying to charge it through this, you can't really use it at the same time. So nice to have, but I don't miss them. And I think this unit will be used for backup in a home or it'll be in the garage of a camper van and everything will be linked to it and you'll use it remotely by its app. And it's a standard EcoFlow app that you can use from Wi-Fi so you can control it from anywhere there's a Wi-Fi signal or you can use it from Bluetooth. So we've got these little handles on here, Velcro handles, to soften the hold of the handles when you're carrying it. But let's take it back to the cottage and have a look at how it performs in the cottage on the off-grid system. And to do it with the official off-grid switch over. Lots of enthusiasm from her. <laughs> so there's the unit. Switch it on. Switch the AC on. And if you haven't seen this before, transfer switch, mains power off generator. So that's everything off in the cottage. That's everything on. And the Arga and various things are running. So this is putting out 2,520 odd watts. The fans have come on. And it says it will run that for 58 minutes and it's at 73%. This is a UK one, so it's on 50 Hertz. And what this switch does, it takes the power from this plug through that transfer switch up here and into the main fuse box. And it's a super sensitive fuse box, so if the inverter wasn't any good in the power unit, that would have off, but it's all running well. This is on fast charge at the moment, so the fans are running full power and it's putting in 2,752 watts of power to charge it and it'll charge it in an hour and it was about 30% when I put it on and it's only been on a few minutes and already up 3%. This is quite a big unit. So it has wheels on the back and then a handle that comes out so you can wheel it like a suitcase. Makes life a lot easier to move it about. And I've been using it in the cottage that way up. So just easier to get to the sockets and everything. So the other unique thing about this is this socket here. You can actually take it to electric car charging point and plug it into the charging point and charge it through the charging point. So as well as being able to run your car off it, We've been using our hybrid, we have a hybrid car and this is the charging unit for it. So we've tried this and it put about 10, 11 miles in of power. So if you go to a charging station, you can charge it up through this. So you could use this almost like a spare can of fuel. So you go to your electric car charging point, top your car up and this as well and put this in the back of your car and this will give you an extra 10 or 12 miles power if you're an out of electric as a backup so that's quite a clever idea i like the idea you can uh, top it up from a car charging point with that super fast charging on it so with this 30 amp out outlet here at 12 volts you would just get a standard 12 volt fuse box for your camper van motor room boat caravan whatever you're going to link this to for 12 volts run all your power to that 12 volt fuse box and then plug it in here and that 30 amps at 12 volts will give you more than enough power to run all your 12 volt devices so things like a diesel heater your 12 volt lighting system charging facilities for laptops and various other things at 12 volts um, a fridge a 12 volt fridge so everything can be run from that so you just plug that in there and then you'd plug into the 13 amp sockets here uh, an extension lead into your camper van have the extension lead where you want it in your van switch this on run it all from the app and this is a complete modular unit then you can just wheel put in back of your camper van strap it down plug those two things switch it on use everything through the app and it would run everything in your camper van you can plug your solar into it you can plug your car charger into it and when you get to a charging station if there's 
car charge, you could even charge it with that. So very clever, very clever idea. And probably one of the most versatile units for a camper van because it's got all these additional facilities. We're seeing more and more innovation with these now and they're just getting better and better and better. So this, for its capacity, its size, it would do everything you possibly wanted it to do in a camper van. And if, if you needed more power, you could build upon it. And it's a good backup in the house as well. And I think these are on offer at the moment as well, but do check the description for more information. So there we have it. Another power unit from EcoFlow, the Delta Pro. Brilliant unit, good for camper vans as I say, good for backup and modular again. So you're not buying something too big that you don't need all the power or you could buy something like this and build it up over time to get the right cap capacity for what you need in your off-grid living, your business, your shepherd's hut, your garage or even in your camper van. And that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. Check the description for any discount codes or further information. And I'm going to take those whippets for a walk because it's a beautiful day out there. Hopefully summer's on its way. Thanks again. See you soon.